continuing the series of weekly contest 285 here comes the first question in the queue count hills and arrays in the array here in this question we are given an array of integers we need to identify the number of hills or valleys that exist in this array here the, here they have provided us with this example i'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation so let's get started with it lead for 2 to 1 0 count hills and valleys in an array and let's take the same example that was specified we have 2 4 double 1 6 5 and if i plot it on a graph of paper i'll get elements like this 2 4 1 1 6 5 and what do you see here you can see here that there, there are two hills and one valley that is getting formed so this is a kind of a hill this is a kind of a valley and this is a kind of a hill again so in totality how many such instances do we see we see three such instances where are wherein there are two hills and one valley the interesting part here in th these two indexes so you need to make sure that whenever you are seeing equal values at the adjoining index they contribute to a single valley or a hill this is the crux of the problem if we are able to identify and manage the, this condition then your work is done so for this since it was an easy question i updated this array slightly so i removed all the duplication from this array what do i get i get 2 4 1 6 and 5 now the question becomes pretty simple and straightforward i don't need to take care of duplication what do i do i start the iteration from the first index i'll go up till the second last index and i'll check whether the current at each index i am getting a valley kind of a structure or a hill or a hill kind of a structure for example here what do i see this valley is greater than both these neighbors one on the left and one on the right as a result of which this is hill let's proceed ahead next we see is one and at one what do i see i see a valley kind of a structure this value is lower than its right neighbor and its left neighbor so let's write b here let's proceed ahead next i see is six six is greater than 1 it's greater than 5 so it's a hill kind of a structure in totality i'm able to identify three configurations hal hill valley hill and this becomes my answer the only caveat here was to remove duplication if you are able to do that the, the question is pretty simple and straightforward let's quickly walk through the coding section and i'll exactly follow the same steps as i have talked here so i i created another array updated array in, in order to remove duplication scenarios and let's start the iteration i iterated over the array in case uh, my elements are unequal one on the left or on the right i add it to my updated array in case it is equal i simply skip that element moving ahead i start the iteration starting from the first index up till the second last index and i check whether a valley is getting formed or a hill is getting formed if any of such instances are getting formed i increment my answer variable in the end, I simply return the answer variable, accepted, and the time complexity of this approach is order of n. I used extra space here because it was the first question and that too was easy question. Uh, since I created the updated array, the space complexity here would be order of n again. But this can be avoided by a slight trick. Uh, since it was an easy question, I didn't go much deep much into it, rather I was interested in solving the rest of the questions. I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it and stay tuned. I am solving more questions of the weekly contest 285.